Hi. So I brought these guys out so they can exercise a bit because they've been going nuts. I had them on my side and I was cuddling with them and they were chewing on my clothes and that's not good because I like my shirt. So they are out now having a blast. All cords been put away and areas have been blocked or I'm blocking behind the couch. Uh, 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 uh. So bug over there, the white one, I have started calling snuggle bug because whenever I do have them on my chest, she is the one that doesn't want to leave. And then squiggle over here is the you know what disturber <laughs> and the most confident. They are doing a really good job of dusting behind everything for me. And having a blast exploring. That's blocked off. Aha! It's blocked off, Snugs. Huh? Ah, ah, ah. Not under the couch. <laughs> I jump up. So originally we thought that bug was about half a week older than snuggle, or sorry, than uh, that's problematic, um, than squiggle. But they're pretty much caught up now <laughs> for their gross, but bug will still jump on things that squiggle can't quite reach. They really seem to enjoy my dog's bed. Hmm? Where are you going? And Bug still has that little dot on his back from the fur that was removed. It's slowly growing back in. There we go. But not quite there yet. I've been trying to get a video of them being outside, but it's been very, very windy and cold. And I, because they're so small, I don't want them getting chilled and using up all that energy to keep warm when they should be using it for growing. So we just have inside playtimes. Yes, my puppy's ball. We'll play with the ball. What are you doing, bug? Thwarted. This is my growing station, by the way. Dustbuster. Are you a dust bust? And Squeakle's gonna climb. Oh hi. And there you go. Oh hi. Hi Squig. Hi Squig. Squig loves coming over.